Hi, Josh here, and you're watching 610 Bob's Builds, where I build things. In this episode, I will be shortening a Dana 60 axle so that it will fit into my Jeep. The Dana 60 axle came out of a 2005 F250 pickup truck. I need to make it shorter because, well, Jeeps are small. The Dana 60's track is about 11 inches bigger than the stock axle in the Jeep. Also, I started this project a while ago, so I don't actually have much video of the process. But I do have some lively pictures. I start out by cutting off the C-bracket. Then I cut off the rest of the 11 inches off the axle tube. This includes the control arm mount. So this actually saved me a lot of grinding. The C-bracket needs to be pressed onto the tube. I weld on some scrap angled steel onto the tube for a bracket. I also got the C-bracket started by tapping it onto the tube. Now I need to press the C-bracket on. This requires some rigging. And I do mean rigging. First, the press wasn't high enough, so I had to raise it on some blocks of wood. Then I find the bracket can't sit on top of the press's table. So I use some, I mean many, well, I mean all of the pipe clamps to clamp the axle's bracket to the press's table. Yeah, this definitely qualifies for the do not try this at home category. After I press the C-bracket on, I weld it to the tube, making sure that the angle of the C-bracket matches the original angle. Then I fab up some leaf spring perches and weld them on. Then I find out that the leaf spring perches don't work. My Jeep has a 4 inch lift. I like that height. Unfortunately, with spring under axle, the axle does not fit. The tie rod hits smack into my leaf spring. I mean, I couldn't even plan it any better. So my only recourse is to use spring over axle. Now this configuration will lift my Jeep about three inches more than what I currently have, even with stock leaf springs. So to allow clearance for the leaf spring, I have to remove the bump stop and a little bit more of the control arm mounts. Both of these are cast directly into the differential. I also have to remove the leaf spring purchase that I just installed. Oi, I hate undoing my own work. It always takes many cutoff wheels. So after a couple hours of grinding, the axle is now ready for new leaf spring perches, which I will be making in the next video. So be on the lookout for that. Using the kits, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's the part that goes into the clamp and fills the clamp with liquid CO2. Anyway, using that thing, I froze the tie rod end boots by spraying them with liquid CO2, utilizing the failed mold as a holder. 